Hi guys, this is Daniel again. In this video, I want to talk about the coming battle for intelligence. At the moment, every major country is working on building artificial intelligence. Basically, it's an arms race to see who can create general artificial intelligence first. Because whoever can create general artificial intelligence, by that I mean a machine that is more intelligent than the current most intelligent person on this planet. Whoever can create that first will have a huge competitive advantage over other countries, over other companies. Whoever creates it, it might be a company that creates it, it might be a government that creates it. Everyone at the moment is competing to create this. Whoever creates this first, whoever creates a machine that is more intelligent than the most intelligent human, once that machine is created, it will rapidly be able to iterate on its own design, becoming far more intelligent, becoming hundreds, thousands, millions of times more intelligent in a very short space of time. Once that happens, there'll be two possible outcomes for the human race. Either that super intelligent machine will help the human race, it will help us enter into a new era of super abundance, or it will possibly be a very bad scenario for humans. That doesn't necessarily mean that the super intelligent machine will kill all humans. It might just be that it will displace all humans, that it will just take the vast majority of resources on this planet and leave little or no resources for the human race. Similar to how the human race has done that to all other animal species on our planet. Just think about it, when the human race emerged on this planet, what did we do to the other animals on this planet? Basically, we displaced them. We took all of their resources. And yes, we care about the other animals somewhat. We don't want all the other animals to go extinct, but that is basically the extent of how much we care about the other animals. If it becomes a choice of resources for us or an animal going extinct, we will always choose the animal going extinct because we need the resources, we need the space. So the question is, will a super intelligent machine act any differently than the human race has already acted on this planet? When the human intelligence emerged on this planet, we quickly overtook all other animal species and took over the entire planet. So I think once machine intelligence emerges, that it will do the same thing on this planet. That basically it will take over all resources on this planet. That doesn't necessarily mean that it will kill all humans, but it will likely displace all humans. And the resources that humans will have available to us will likely be dependent on the machine and what it decides to give us in terms of resources. So it could be really bad for humanity or it could be really good for humanity. Basically, we don't know what will happen when machine intelligence emerges. All we do know is that it will emerge. Every major tech company, every major government is currently working on this as fast as possible. Everyone wants to be the first to create general artificial intelligence. The current estimates are for this to emerge around about 2040. That is when a machine will be more intelligent than the current most intelligent person on this planet. From then, it will only be a few years before that machine is hundreds, thousands, or millions of times more intelligent than the most intelligent human on this planet. Given how much more intelligent this machine will be than humans, we can't actually predict what will happen in that scenario. We can speculate that possibly it will be good for humanity, and we can speculate that possibly it will be very bad for humanity. But really, we don't know what will happen. We don't know what a super intelligence will do on this planet. Just like mice and cockroaches couldn't speculate on what the human race would do once we emerged on this planet. So given that it could be really good or really bad, we kind of have two choices to make. We can basically sit back and just see what happens, or we can try our best to eliminate the bad scenario from occurring. There's multiple ways that we can possibly try and eliminate this bad scenario from occurring. One way that I see is by increasing the intelligence of the human race in general. If you've watched any videos on my channel before, you'll know I'm on a mission to increase my intelligence to the maximum human limit. I've already gained at least 13 IQ points and I'm going to gain a lot more. I think it's possible for every human on this planet to gain a huge increase in intelligence. But how will that help us if a machine intelligence could be hundreds, thousands, or millions of times more intelligent than the current most intelligent person on this planet? The reason why this will help us is because there is different types of intelligence. The intelligence that a machine has is completely different to the intelligence that a human has. The intelligence that a machine has is mostly crystallized intelligence, which is the ability to store information in long-term memory and then draw on that information to solve problems. Humans do this as well. For example, lawyers do this, doctors do this, chess players do this. They store information in their long-term memory and they draw on that information to solve problems. But humans also have a different type of intelligence. We have fluid intelligence, which is basically the ability to solve problems that you've never seen before. That is something that machines can't do at least at this time. Perhaps in the future, they will also overtake humans in that regard as well. But at the moment, machines are extremely weak in that regard. Machines are already far superior to humans in terms of crystallized intelligence. We can see that in chess, for example, where machines have been superior to humans for over two decades now in playing chess. That's because chess is largely a crystallized intelligence arena. Basically, whoever can store the most information in their long-term memory and draw on that information within a game of chess will be the superior player. And and 
for two decades now, that has been a machine. But in terms of fluid intelligence, machines are still extremely weak compared to humans. Basically, in the vast majority of areas of intelligence, machines are still extremely weak. That is because humans have a really strong ability to solve problems they've never seen before. That is our fluid intelligence. And this is something we can train. We can increase our fluid intelligence. So this is the area where humans are still vastly superior to machines and will remain vastly superior to machines for decades to come. And this is the area that we can train. We can increase our fluid intelligence. I've increased my fluid intelligence by at least 13 IQ points already. So if the human race can do this collectively, if we can all increase our fluid intelligence, we will stand a far better chance at controlling a super intelligent machine once it does emerge. One other benefit of fluid intelligence, of human intelligence, is that there is a synergy with machine intelligence. Basically, what people have found is that the current strongest chess engine, the machine that is stronger at playing chess than any other machine than any other human, that machine can be beaten by a weaker machine combined with a human player. So a human player and a weaker machine can beat the strongest machine at chess. That is what we have found. That is because humans add the fluid intelligent component of intelligence. When you can combine fluid intelligence with crystallized intelligence, you get a superior form of intelligence, superior to what machines have alone. And that is what will give us the competitive advantage. This is what will give us a fighting chance in the coming battle for intelligence. If we can increase our fluid intelligence to the maximum human limit and then combine that with machine intelligence, we will be able to overpower and defeat any other form of machine intelligence. It has already been proven in chess that if you combine a human player and a weaker machine, you can beat the current strongest machine at chess. So that will likely be true in the future as well, that when we get a super intelligent machine, when we get artificial intelligence that is far superior to humans in the crystallized intelligence realm, still we will be able to combine our intelligence with a weaker machine to overpower that super intelligent machine. And something that will help us in this endeavor will be to increase our fluid intelligence, to increase the intelligence that is unique to the human race. What separates us from the animals is our prefrontal cortex. That is the part of our brain responsible for higher level reasoning. It is the part of our brain that controls the rest of our brain. It is what the other animals are missing and is what the machines are missing as well. This is one reason why I'm so motivated to increase my own intelligence. But it's also simply to find out what is the limit of human intelligence. I think we don't know what the limit of human intelligence is. In theory, there should be a human on this planet with an IQ of around about 195. This would be a 1 in 10 billion level IQ. In theory, that person should exist. And there should be multiple people with 190 IQ and even more people with 185 IQ, for example. I think at a minimum, it is possible for an average human to increase their intelligence up to those limits to say 180 or 190 level IQ. I think that is possible. If it's possible to be born with that level of intelligence, then it's possible to achieve that level of intelligence through training. But also, there might be higher limits of intelligence far beyond what the current maximum human limit intelligence is. But simply, we don't know what the limit is. We don't know if it's possible to have a higher IQ than 195. There might be far greater realms of human intelligence, far beyond a 195 IQ, that simply we can't comprehend at the moment because no one has actively tried to increase their intelligence beyond that point. Because most people People don't know that you can increase your intelligence. Well, I will find out what that limit is. I will find out what the limit to human intelligence is. Those are my two main goals, to increase my intelligence to the maximum human limit and to make $1 billion from trading. Those goals go hand in hand and those are my two main focuses for this channel. If you're interested in either of those goals, in either of those missions for myself, make sure to subscribe to this channel and follow along on my journey. And if you have any comments or questions, make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you.